Spock eating that mouth-watering meal. And there was also another one. Wow, how did you think of this? Think of what? Think of a decent meal. Oh, I can taste it now. Yeah, so as you can see, I, I've made so many comments, like it's not even funny. Okay. And if I type this in, Hawk Angel Loop, you can watch this video here. 16 minutes of a Broadway talk eating a live snake. So here's a comment that I've made using many accounts here. If there's one thing this Broadway talk is sure good at doing, it's golfing down that snake. I wonder if this is the first time ever that Hawk's life has eaten a snake. As far as I go, I've lost count on how many snakes I've eaten. I've even eaten all types of snakes, really. That's actually a lie. I actually haven't eaten any snakes. I don't remember ever eating one. I mean, if I did, it may have only been one snake. And it may have been, like, a long time ago. A cooked snake, of course. Aaron Strap, which is also me, said, Excellent video. What a way to film. I'm loving the close-ups, too. Nervy Breen is also me. Time for dinner, my friend. A snake's on the menu. Totally awesome video. Jember Herbick is also me. And as you can see, I've got the J. Herzl 88 logo right on my profile picture. So you would know that that's me. I am motivated by, motivated by this Broadway talk eating this tasty steak. I think it is time. Time for me to go outside and find another tasty steak. I'll allow a hawk to find one for me, and I'll enjoy it with the hawk. Brian, which is also me, said, This hawk is so awesome. Its meal is even more awesome. I want to tell you something. I'm planning on finding a hawk eating something. Then slowly but surely, I'll walk ever so closely to such a hawk. Why would I do that? It's because I love nature. And a big nature fan wants to get more involved with its meal. Once I get within inches of that hawk, I'll make my move. That's right. I'll be doing the eating now. J.H. Green, J.H. Herzl is also me. That snake, that hawk's eating, looks so good. I'm getting some of that snake. Slither over here so I can eat you right now. Morver Berkline is also me. I think I just hatched a perfect idea. It's about this scrumptious meal right here, a live cane snake. I just so want it. I bet you that if I can find the same snake, I can consume and enjoy it just like this hawk can. And then James Smith, which is also me, got the profile picture right here. Yummy snake, I totally want one. An inviting steak makes an appetizing sack. I'll go find one right now. Then down the hatch it goes. I have no name 3E. Now has a name. He is actually me. Oh yeah, so mesmerizing. Wait, I gotta get a hold of myself. Nah, I'm gonna consume that snake right from that hawk, and I'm gonna swallow it like the hawk I am. Jameis Sir Uri is also me. If there's one thing this Broadway hawk is sure good at doing, it's gulping down that snake. I wonder if this is the first time ever. Oh wait, that's right, I already read that one. I, Jim Nerd, which is also me, says, I can almost taste this snake as this video is playing. That is such a sweet, scrumptious, delectable, appetizing steak. Come to daddy! And Bobby Earp says, oh yeah, this video gives me an idea. I know what I'm going to be doing for the next three days or so. Looking for a snake to eat, exactly like a hawk would. Ned Birop says, my ultimate reaction is to try it. Try it and like it. I'll get down on my knees and eat that snake. And the owner thinks that he is joking, which is actually me. Ned Biroff is me. Laura Perjove is also me. Watching this broad-winged hawk eat gives me the chance to eat a snake. And I'm talking about a full-on Slytherin snake. I'm sure you're surprised about that. <laughs> it's like, why should I be? Oh, crap. Oh, okay, okay, I gotta say it then. I suppose I must. Steaks are my favorite meal to eat whenever I'm outside with nothing to do. I've got good friends who are always behind me saying, if you're bored, eat a steak. Angel Luke says, ha! And as you can see, these three get lots of likes because I just used a whole bunch of accounts to give it likes many times. 
why can I like this vid only once? I did way more than like it. I could actually masturbate to it. Nah, JK. <laughs> that was not my comment. But it was a custom generated comment that I hand selected from Vogix.com. And then this one says, haha, I've done that. This is one of the custom generated comments here. Eating a snake? And this was me. I start right here. My comments start right here. Yep, you got that right. For a second thought, I always thought you wouldn't figure it out. All my friends eat snakes. And then we kind of get into another, a nice chat. And then there was also another comment from many like when I first found this video it is Jarrah Howard this Broadwings hawk has enjoyed its meal oh but it's got such a tasty meal though it's crazy it's too much I just want it give me that snake you hawk and then uh, let's see if I find one oh yeah that hawk taught me a good lesson on how to eat like a hawk I think I know what I'm having for dessert tonight a live snake. I'll just flip that thing down my throat. And then Angel says, I've never eaten my snake raw yet. Well, you can always wait till the nice ice age. It'll be too cold to cook anything then. Of course, you won't be able to record nothing on video either. And then this guy backs me up by saying he's going to have a fire burning so he, that will never go out so he can cook and stay warm. Don't see why I couldn't video too. Fire actually comes out when, you know, you, uh, when it gets cold, so if it's too cold to, to spark a fire, it's definitely too cold to keep a fire, too. And also, you're forgetting that without heat, all technology would prove useless, so you can't run a camera in the cold. Like, you just can't do it. It won't, your camera won't even power on in 20 degree weather. And then, guess what happens? You live your life as if it were 10,000 years ago when people were cave dwellers. It's very true. If you look at this... Uh, oh, crap. Um, where is it? Um, oh, man. So I, I have to cut the video very soon because my camera only has so much battery power left. So hang on a second, okay? Um... Come on, you stupid thing. Oh yeah, so this is something very interesting. I was doing my research on prehistoric people, you know, like the caveman days, you know what I mean? Like the stuff that they used to eat a while ago. This is very interesting. This kind of gets me a little bit involved a little bit. If evolution is true, why are humans less adaptive? Why are people less adapted to live in a natural environment where, like previous ancestors or apes? Apes can live in the cold because of fur. They can climb trees because their feet and long arms. They can eat raw meat and have teeth that chew through anything. Modern humans can't survive in the wild, so how do they survive at all? A naked human is so fragile that there's no way that it could survive that way. So why did apes evolve and become less adaptive to their environment? 